Hello guys, in today's quick tutorial, I will show you how to set up web dev uh, on your TrueNest scale. Uh, personally, I would not uh, recommend you to use this uh, open it uh, to the internet and using it remotely. Uh, however, the choice is yours, and uh, I do recommend that you using it with some kind of VPN service, uh, open VPN, and remotely um, connect to your home network and using it that way, it's more secure. Uh, another choice you can use uh, NetCloud. Uh, it decide to be open to the internet. Uh, web dev is um, it is fairly secure, but again, the um, vulnerability that people can use uh, to um, you know access your network or the, your uh, data that's stored on your uh, web dev servers. All right, with that, let's get started. Uh, so, in order to uh, start a web dev service. You, uh, you need to go to uh, shares alright and run web dev first thing we're going to do is config the login uh, and the protocol for uh, web dev so I'm going to go to config service and protocol by default is HTTP we're going to change that to HTTPS and by default the HTTPS port is going to be uh, 8081 uh, you can change it uh, to whatever you like but uh, keep in mind that uh, make sure that you don't use the port that already uh, being used on your network. Next, uh, web dev SSL certif uh, certificate. Uh, if you do not have the uh, let encrypt certificate, you can check out one of my tutorial. I'll show you how to get the um, let encrypt certificate on your true NAS. Uh, so that's why you don't get the red icon uh, on your web browsers. However, uh, you can always use uh, the default free NAS, which is a uh, cell encrypt. Uh, certificate uh, I mean self size certificate alright and uh, HTTP uh, authentications so here you have three options uh, one is no authentic authentication at all uh, the second one is the basic authentication which is unencrypted uh, not recommended to uh, the third option which is a uh, digest authentication uh, encrypt which is encrypted and uh, by default that the uh, selected options all right and you're gonna create a web dev password so some of you wondering uh okay so i'm re uh, creating the password so what the login so by default web dev login it's just uh the username is going to be uh web dev and then uh, the password is whatever you enter right now okay and we can save it all right next uh, we're gonna go to the data set so by default you can enable web dev and you might have uh, read only permissions you're not gonna able to read write or execute so in order to do that we're going to give a web dev permission to the data set that we would like all right so i'm going to go to uh so in this case i'm going to give web dev uh read write and execute permission to the uh, sysadmin102 underscore share so i'm going to go ahead and edit the permissions all right and i'm going to add the new one uh, actually, it's um, I already add the permission for um, web dev in here already. However, if you um, you have an added permission, you're gonna go ahead and add the item. And in here, you're gonna select a uh, user, and you're gonna put in the web dev. All right, and you're gonna give it uh, whatever permission that you like, read, write, and or execute and make sure that you set the access control group okay all right now we're gonna go back to share and then web dev we're gonna add a new one so i'm gonna call it uh web dev just to make it easy for this tutorial but again you can name it whatever you like all right and we're gonna mail it to uh since admin 102 underscore share and you have an option to uh, make it read only or uh, it unchecked 
whatever permission that you uh, you give it under the data set, it's gonna have that permissions. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and save it. Confirm and continue. All right, and we're gonna enable the service. All right, web dev have been uh, enabled. Uh, one last thing before you, uh, we try to access our web dev, we're gonna go down to system settings, and we go to uh, services. By default, when you enable web dev, it should uh, start automatically. But if it does not check, make sure you check it. So that's why if your server restart, it automatically restart a web dev service. Or if you don't like it, automatically start during startup. You can go in here and check it up. Okay. And in order to uh, access our um, web app, it's super easy. You can uh, just use your um, IP address or fully qualified domain name or FQDN. So in this case, I'm using my FQDN. And you're going to specify the port number, which is uh, A0A1 by default. And I named it web app earlier. So I'm going to use web app. All right. And it's going to ask you for the username and password. Uh, the default username is going to be web dev and the password is whatever that you put in earlier one two three. all right and that's one way you can uh, access a uh, web dev there you go you can open pdf file right on your browser uh, second way i'm going to show you is you can mount a web dev uh, into a try on window so you can open up a new folder uh, under uh, this PC you can uh, right click on it and you can select uh, map a network try okay and the server you can copy and paste uh, the server in here alright and we click finish And again, the login is going to be uh, web dev and password. Okay, now you have access to the web dev folder. So again, depend on uh, what kind of permission that uh, you give it to a web dev, uh, you should be able to. Um, let me try to copy this new folder. To that. New file to desktop. So we copy it. Okay, and I'm gonna try to delete the file. There we go. So if it's not letting you uh, deleting the the file, would mean that you do not have the read write uh, permissions. That the case, you go back to uh, TrueNAS and uh, give it uh, appropriate permissions. Otherwise, you should be able to, um, you know, copy the file and put it in the web dev folder. All right. Another one, I'm going to show you how to do it on a Mac OS. So on Mac OS, you're going to go to um, Go, and you're going to go to um, Connect to a Server. Okay, we have same thing. We're going to go ahead and copy the uh, URL. Uh, I'm going to put that URL in there. connect and again they're gonna ask you for your uh, username and password that's gonna be web dev and password and there we go that's how you connect uh, web dev to your window or Mac OS I'm gonna skip uh, Linux for this tutorial uh, I think if you are using Linux you should be more than capable of um, connecting or mounting a web server on your Linux. 
Uh, again, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, if you think the tutorial is helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like, and um, I really appreciate you guys supporting my channel. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye bye.